Hello, everybody. My name is Mark Oliver, and I'm Senior Consulting Director for Omdia, the research and consulting arm of Informa Tech. I'm delighted to have been a World Broadband Association member since its formation last year, and I'm especially delighted to have been asked to participate in this WBBA event hosted by China Telecom to celebrate the launch of the World Broadband Association as an independent legal entity. Over the next few minutes, I'd like to share with you a little bit about why we're involved with the WBBA, how we are supporting its mission, and why you should join us and the other members on our journey to connect the world by bringing the benefit of broadband to all. At Informa Tech, our goal is to inform, educate, and connect the technology industry with the aim of inspiring them to build us all a better world. We do this via our market research, our consulting work, our media publications, conference events, and training brands. For example, if you are a reader of Light Reading or Telecoms.com, then you are a member of our community. If you have ever exhibited or attended as a delegate at Network X, Broadband World Forum, 5G World, or Big 5G, then you're a member of our community. If you have ever planned the rollout of digital services based upon Omdia's World Broadband Information Series or our World Cellular Information Series, then again, you're a member of our community. And if you have studied for your telecoms MBA at the Telecoms Tech Academy, then you are a member of our community. In total, we have over 800 market researchers, consultants, editors, journalists, conference producers and lecturers, all experts in the industry that is information and communications technology. The reason I share all of this with you is that we are delighted to be part of the World Broadband Association movement and to offer the association our expertise and the platforms that give us reach into the market to help shape and inform the association's agenda and to amplify its voice. And we've been providing our expertise and both our physical and digital platforms to the World Broadband Association throughout 2022. We successfully co-hosted the World Broadband Association's Amsterdam annual event with Informa Tech's Network X in October, additionally providing speakers, content and event management support for a World Broadband Association event in Bangkok the following week, with over 350 people engaging with us over both events combined. Omdia industry analysts have also owned the pen on the WBBA's thought leadership content, working very closely indeed with the other members to produce research papers on industry critical hot topics as discussed and agreed in the World Broadband Association's working groups. We've also been publicizing the WBBA events and research via advertisements and other promotional activity on digital media properties like, like Reading and Telecoms.com, which have a combined 1.5 million monthly page views. Omdia is committed to the growth and success of the World Broadband Association and looks forward to working with our members and with you all to continue to achieve this in the future. I do want to take a step back and revisit how we've come to be here sitting at this World Broadband Association event with Omdia as a founder member. In late 2020, Omdia published a research paper called Delivering on the Promise of Broadband. And whilst our research shows that fixed broadband revenues will grow faster than mobile revenues on an annual basis until 2026, we also identified six key challenges that the broadband industry faces and needs to address in order to accelerate development to meet demand and provide key social and economic benefits. And you can see those six key industry challenges on the screen here. When we published that research paper, we were challenged by our industry partners to consider what the industry is doing to address them. And what we identified as a collective was the need to bring together broadband stakeholders for the purposes of industry development. We got to discussing and thinking about how to achieve that. And from that discussion, the World Broadband Association was born. The WBBA will provide an open organization and platform for cooperation and partnership across the industry and will seek to address the six key industry challenges that we see on the screen here. Since we first started to get involved and discuss the WBBA with partners and members, one of the very clear key motivations was the need to create a collective voice for the broadband industry, distinct already from the good and established work being done by standards and policy bodies. Our collective voice is focused on industry development, working in complementary fashion with other organizations like Etsy, Broadband Forum, ITU, and the FTTH Council. 
You can see here on the screen a very high level summary of how we've gone about building that collective voice together through collective thought leadership, events, digital media, collaboration and partnership among all the members. And we are very pleased to be here today as we launch and announce the recently completed process of registering the World Broadband Association as a fully independent legal entity in Switzerland. So just a very short final call to action here from me. Omdia is delighted to be a member of the World Broadband Association and to provide our research, digital media and events expertise and experience to the association's growth. If you are not already a member, please do think about joining us and the selection of other members that you see here on the screen as we plot our way forward into the next stage of the World Broadband Association journey. Thank you, everybody, and enjoy the rest of today's event.